hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a power on off button this button will be in the neomorphism style right now you can see it is in the off mode or disabled and it is in the gray color you can see the shadow inside of this box if we click here it will change the color to the green and you will see the shadow from outside of this box and this click event is built using CSS we are not using any JavaScript so let's start this video to create this power on off button in neomorphism style here in this folder I have one HTML file one CSS file let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio code this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding box sizing and font family this will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In the HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Here in this body tag, we will create a div with the class name container. Next, we have to add the CSS for this container. So just add this class name in the CSS file. And here we will add the height and width. Then we will add the background. And here let's add the background color code next we will add the display flex align items center justify content center and flex direction column so all the contents that we will add within this container that will be displayed in the center of this web page in this HTML file here we will add a title so let's add a text in p tag power on off after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser you can see this text in the center of the web page it is very small so we will add some css for this text let me come back in this css we will add container space p for this p text we will increase the font size letter spacing then we will change the color now you can see increased font size for this text next we have to add a button so we will come back to the html file and after this p we will add one input tag input and the type will be checkbox like this after adding this let's refresh the website again and here you can see a very small checkbox if we click here you can see a check mark if we click again it will remove the check mark so this is very simple checkbox next we have to design it and we will hide this checkbox and we will add another box over here to hide this one we will come back to the css file and here we will add container space input we have to hide this input box so here we will add width 0 and height 0 so it will be hidden let me refresh the website and you can see this input box is hidden let's come back and again write this one here we will add before and in this one we will add some content in this content let's add hello like this and uh, after that we will add font size font size will be 52 pixel let's add the color then height it will be 160 pixel width will be 160 pixel then we will add background let me use any color code for now if we refresh the website you can see this hello text over here now we will add some other CSS just come back and here we will add display flex align items center and justify content center 
let me remove this hello and here we will add only one text h like this now you can see this h is in the center of this colored box now let's come back to the css after this we will add cursor pointer then we will add border radius it will be 8 pixel you can see some radius right now you can see this box is in the right side it is not horizontally center to move it in the center let's come back and here we have added the width 160 so let's add the transform translate x minus 80 pixel now you can see it is horizontally center we need some space between this text and this box so in this p we will add some margin so let me add the margin of minus 250 pixel from top so it will go up left right zero and at the bottom we will add 100 pixel now you can see this text moves up and we are getting some space between this text and this box next we have to design this box we will add some shadow inside of this box and we have to change the background color so let's come back and uh, we will copy this color code add it here in this one it will be the same color code and next we have to add box shadow in this box shadow we will add shadow from inside so here we will add inset 4 pixel 4 pixel 6 pixel and minus 1 pixel then we will add the color RGBA it will be 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 so this is the one shadow we will add multiple shadow here so let's add a comma and we will add another shadow After adding this box shadow, let's refresh the website again. In the top and left side, the shadow is dark and in the right and bottom side, the shadow is light. Next we have to replace this H with an icon. For that we will use the font awesome. Let's open the font awesome website which is fontawesome.com. Here you have to create an account and then go to kids. Click here. and. Uh, then copy this script and add it in your HTML file just above this closing head tag. We will add it here. After adding this, again come back to the website and click on icons. Here I will select 5. It is version 5. And in this one we will search for an icon that is power click here and here you can see unicode for this icon which is f011 click here to copy or you can type it f011 it is unicode so let's come back to the css file instead of this h we will add backslash f011 Next we will add the font family. Font family will be font awesome. Like this. After adding this, let's refresh the website again and now you can see a power icon in this box. Next we have to add the click feature in this button so it will change the color and it will change the shadow. For that let's come back and uh, we will copy this container input before write it here and after this input we will add colon checked then here we will add the color
After adding this color, you can see if we click on this button, it will change the color to green. If we click again, it is gray. So it is changing the color on clicking on this button. Next, we will change the shadow also. So let's come back and here we will add box shadow. Six pixel, six pixel, then 10 pixel and minus one pixel. RGBA. 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 this is the first shadow we will add one more shadow it will be minus 6 minus 6 and 10 and minus 1 and 255 255 255 so it will be light shadow 0 0.3 7. After adding this, let's refresh the website again and now you can see if we will click on this button, it will change the color and it will change the shadow also. Right now this shadow is displaying from the outside and the top left side shadow is light and bottom right side shadow is dark. So finally we have created this Neomorphism style power button and we have created this using CSS without using any JavaScript. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.